Hi, and welcome to episode 31 of Two Crafty Stitches. Today is July 24th, 2016, and I am Sandy, also known as Knits and Bits. And I'm Kelly, also known as Pearly Girl 75. So, here we are. And it is a Sunday morning, and we're recording, Oops. just because, you know, we like to change things up on ourselves a bit, I guess, and totally mess with me. Um, <laughs> anyway... So, I guess we will jump right on in. Do we want to start with new items? Don't we normally sure. start with new items? Yes. I do have new items because, you know, anyway, Sandy doesn't because she's Sandy. And so, you and Kelly, you always have new items. I do. <laughs> um, well, you know, you know, like when we do our, what Sandy and I do is we go like every other week when we're not recording, we go to Panera and we do our little knitting there. And sometimes we have another person with us and whatever. And um, we normally share with each other our Instagram viewings that we found over the past week, like the things that we've liked, because like we're nerds and we sit there, we're like, I liked this picture. Hey, look at this. I like this or whatever. I look, mean, it's this just, is so pretty. I know. And <laughs> so we, we do that. And so the past like couple of weeks, because Tour de Fleece is going on, like every, just about every other picture that I like has been the um, Three Waters Farm Tour de Fleece fiber. And <laughs> Which, you know, I'm like, look at this. It's the Tour de Fleece Fiber. Because I really like the colors. And so I ordered some. Of um, course. Even though I'm not doing Tour de Fleece. So I ordered some. And um, and it's really cool because the, I ordered two braids because it's, you know, eight ounces is my go-to. especially unless, unless I'm at a festival and have to cart it home on an airplane. So, But look, she packages it in like a little box. Like, this is eight ounces of fiber in here. Huh. I know. So anyway... Um, it's so pretty. It is. I love it. Has it has so much pink in it. And see, the thing is, I think I was drawn to it because I don't have a whole lot of pink in my spinning. Like, really? I was looking through my spinning the other day, and I have very few things that have pink in them. They all yeah, have, like, bright choice. colors. I don't have a lot of pink, and I'm a pink person. Yeah. So, anyway. Um, so, yeah. So, I got two braids um, <laughs> of the Three Waters Farm. It's their Tour de Fleece colorway, which is called Summer Jubilee. And this is the Superwash Merino Nylon. It's an 8515 you know, fiber. <laughs> I just lost my train of thought there. But anyway, I thought it was really pretty and I had to have it. So I got non podcast new things. Oh. I bought some uh, booties for my snorkeling trip. Yes. So I can wear with some of my fins. I wasn't done. Of course. <laughs> so <laughs> I have some new spindles, <clears throat> plural. So this is the, my favorite spindle of my Turkish spindles that I use. It's my absolute favorite one. I love the size because it's, like, awesome for going to work. I can throw it in its little bag, um, which I bought some fabric to make. Like, inside the... I bought, yeah, like, yeah, some yeah. satin because I want a satin-lined little drawstring bag, and I couldn't find one online, so I'm going to make one. Um, maybe next week when I'm off work, before I go back to work. That can be my project. Hold on, you're going to pull out your... Uh... Sewing machine. Wow. I know. Well, wow. actually, it's just, like, right over there, I think, so it's I not know, really but that far <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm going to make a little drawstring bag that's like satin lined so that the fiber doesn't stick to it because I, last year I did knitting during lunch and I also like before work and also for a while there I did some spinning and I used this spin, this spindle which is from um, Turtle Made and it's a little 3D printed spindle because um, it's just like the right size to throw in the little bag and throw into my work bag and then I would because um, I always get to work early I have to be at work at like 7.30 and I get there at like 7 so <laughs> and then you know you go sign in, you go to the bathroom, you see if there's anything going on, and then you still have, like, 15 to 20 minutes. So I would get, like, 15 to 20 minutes of spinning done. Um, and so um, I really like her spindles, and I love this size. So I was thinking, though, <laughs> I had some thoughts this pet the past, like, two weeks since we recorded, um, that while I love this spindle, and I love the size, um, it's the computer-printed stuff, and, like, if you leave it in a hot car, chances are it's going to melt. Because, I mean, it's just like, they, she even tells you that, like, when you order it and all this type of stuff. And I thought, well, I live in Florida, and it has been very hot this summer. Um, so I wanted to find one that was a wooden spindle that was similar in size to this. And so I was, like, scouring Etsy, looking, looking, looking. And I couldn't really find one exactly the same size. But, because I would find them that would be, like, the four inches here, but they would be, like, two inches here. And I like having the, like, this is almost four inches or whatever here for the arms. So I found one that was kind of close. It's a little little big, but we'll see how it does. Because um, it's four inches here, but it's six inches here. So I don't know. We'll see. But it's a very nice spindle. Like, feel how smooth it is. Oh, like, yeah. It's from England. Um, <laughs> and so it's from Carrie Spindles in England. It really didn't take that long to get here either. And the price wasn't that bad, especially like, you know, converting it over to our currency and everything. 
So I'm going to try this one out. But then, but wait, there's more. So, so I was also looking on Instagram because Instagram gets me in trouble all the time. Um, I was on, and I haven't even really been on Instagram that much this summer, but it gets me in trouble anyway. So Turtle Maid has reformulated or whatever her spindles. Really? Yes. So she has, she has done a little changing. So I ordered two of her newer ones to see one in this size. Cause I love this size. Um, so the, and it's like this, a lot of hers now have the points so you can use it as a supported spindle too, which that's fine, whatever. Um, so this is one of her newer, newer ones that's similar in size. It's just a little longer on the bottom. Um, and the arms are computer printed, but the center is now molded out of a plastic instead of computer printed. And it's supposed to not melt, I guess, as fast. So, you know, because I don't remember what temperature she said, but it was something and she was like, your car can get that fa that hot in, a in like an hour. And I'm like, my car could probably get that hot in like five minutes outside. So anyway, so this is the one that I ordered um, that has the new, new center. And it also, she has in there um, like a little washer type thing. So it stays in a little tighter. Oh. Because this one, which I love, once, you know, it takes a little bit because it kind of, it's a little rattly. I don't know if, I don't know if you can hear that on our microphone there, but it's a little rattly and this other one is not, you know. And so then also she has, she does bottom whirl and I love me a bottom whirl spindle and this had the same plastic and I, I thought that like was kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, it's the atomic flower bottom whirl spindle, um, which also has a little washer in there so it doesn't shift around and look how sparkly. You I was can't about see to say it. it's super sparkly. I know, you can't see it, but it's like very sparkly. Look, at, and it matches my nails. So <laughs> I did my nails after I ordered this, but anyway, and it also has like the point on the bottom. So if you wanted to, you could use it as a supported spindle. So those are my purchases. Yeah. Lately. None. So <laughs> yes, just because I have a lot of fiber to get through and I figure if I can do like 15 minutes a morning at work, oh, yeah. that will help. <laughs> Especially these like four ounce fiber things that I bought recently, you know, from um, I think eight ounces on a spindle would be a bit much for me, but no, it'll just take you some time. It would, and I am not a process person. I am a product person, so <laughs> I'm the process, right? So moving on to you for a bit. Okay, so finished objects. I have none. No, I do have finished objects, but you can say, do your stuff first. Yeah, yeah. Let's say I know you have finished I objects. Do. I was thinking I have nothing finished knitted. I tried. I tried really hard yesterday. I have. It's, it's mostly finished. Yeah. Um, so I guess it was about two weeks ago. I cast on this little baby sweater. And you know what? I am not prepared. I don't remember what the pattern was. Oh. Okay. So I'll look here in a second. Yeah. But it is a striped baby sweater. Yes. And it's it looks very cute. really dark in It does here. look really dark. But here we go. So it is made out of the Red Heart Soft... Um, greens. Like I would like, like you to make and... me a me size sweater like that out of those colors. Oh, no. <laughs> it didn't take forever. It just seemed really long. But I mean, it was because I, I just cleaned out a bunch of my cardigans and got rid of all the ones that are too big for me. <laughs> but yeah, so I have it all knit up. I just have to finish weaving in the ends mm -hmm. and I need to find seven buttons. Yes. I have no idea what buttons I want to use for this. She gets some cute little buttons. I know. Well, yeah. it's for a little boy. Yeah. Um, I was telling you this uh, last week. I was volunteered to make this for my boyfriend's friend who recently had a son. Um, I made it a little bit bigger. It should be around the twelve month size. Mm -hmm. But I don't have a twelve month old <laughs> that is near me to try it on. <laughs> so if anybody lives in Tampa that has around a twelve month old. <laughs> You know, it wants, me. To, wants to meet up so I yes. can put my sweater on your child in this, like, <laughs> where it feels like it's 115 degrees outside. You go outside. into a restaurant and it's, yeah. like, 50 degrees. <laughs> but it was a nice little pattern. It, it was is. Um, It's very cute. It was made for a two-tone. So I just lean down and try and find it. Yeah. So just two stripes. But when I started knitting, I was looking at what I have. And the dark green, I started thinking, wow, I don't think I have enough of this. Well, let me throw in another color. Oh, wait, here's some black. Yeah, I like it, though, with the different stripes. I think so it looks cuter I. than it would with just two. But Okay, it is 
Dove Knits. It's the Green Zebra Baby Sweater. See? Which, and it has green in the title. Surprisingly, the one that she did is blue. <laughs> so, yeah. It's cute in the two stripes, but I really like it how you did it with the, you know, more than two colors. Yes. So. So, you can change it to however many colors you need. Well, and yeah. I do like how in the pattern, um, she told you how to just carry up the yarn so that way you're not cutting it at oh. one time. Uh-huh. And it doesn't show No, it doesn't. on this side because huh. you just carry up like every like three or four rows and then you just put it over, then hmm. knit the row and then throw it back. Now is that pattern um a free pattern? It is a free oh. pattern. Well even better. It is on her blog. And I like the um uh, the on the the little button band, the stitch yeah, that's the there. Stitch. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. So it's seed stitch on the bottom, the neck, and the um, both the sides. Um, it was supposed to be a seed seed stitch on the arms, but I did it as a ribbing because yeah, I like the ribbing there too. I also made it a lot smaller because it seemed like it was going to be a really big arm, oh. and I didn't <laughs> seem that think that that seemed right. <laughs> maybe, for, maybe that's why it was green zebra because it was for like a Hulk baby. <laughs> <laughs> he does not have a Hulk baby yes. because then I'm in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> I think the world would be in trouble. Yes. If it was a Hulk baby, everyone would be in trouble. I think it's only like maybe one or two months old. Okay. And they're over in Texas, so by the yeah. time it oh, gets yeah. there, I think they'll be able to use it. Yes. Especially if it's a Hulk baby. Then yes. <laughs> Unless it grows two, really quickly. Two month old wearing a 12 month old size. <laughs> Well, my friend has a one-month-old that's yeah. wearing, like, three to six already. Yeah. But he's a little chunker. <laughs> so cute. All right, so my finished objects, which I have two. Yay! Um, I know, and they're not knitting, which is why I totally didn't think they were finished objects. But anyway, um, so a while ago, I started spinning this, like, a while ago, like January. Um, <laughs> I started spinning this BFL and Sparkle from Yarn Geek Fibers. Um, which is Blue Faced, Lester, Fire, and Firestar, and I had eight ounces of it. And so I finished it, and I plied it, and it is done. <laughs> I had like half, I had four ounces spun from like January, and then I sat down within the past two weeks, spun the other four ounces, and did the plying. And I got, <coughs> bless you, oh. <laughs> 486 yards. Um, I haven't like measured it to see what weight it is, but it's not like fingering weight, I can tell you that. <laughs> it's at least a DK. Um, no idea what I'm going to do with it, but it's done. So. I can't wait to see what you make with it's it. It's sparkly, too. You can't see yes. it on there, but it's very sparkly. You have a lot of sparkly things today. I do. This thing is sparkly, too. Um, <laughs> then I also um, had, had like, four ounces of some fiber that is... I have my cards here. Look how prepared I am today. I know. Um, I can't get the card, though, because, like... <laughs> from Naturally Knitty, and it is um, some of her fiber nests in the Melted Nerds colorway, and it's got Firestar, Nylon, Superwash, BFL, and Superwash Merino all in it, and they were, um, you get like, I got two little bags that were each two ounces, so I spun the first two ounces on my e-spinner. <laughs> I was about to say, this was the stuff that was in your e-spinner, yes. right? Yeah. And then the second two ounces, since my regular spinning wheel was out, and I have my woolly winder and all that. I decided to spend the second two ounces, which I got done in like two evenings, um, on my um, Ashford Traveler with the woolly winder. And then I plied it, which was fun, let me tell you, because my e-spinner bobbins don't fit on my Lazy Kate for my, yeah, and I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I was like making a center pool ball and yeah. Anyway, so I spun this um, and I plied it and I got, it's 184 yards. So, out of four ounces, which, because it's kind of like thick and thin and just kind of, it's kind of artsy looking. <laughs> so, I'll have to find a little project for that, but it's got sparkle in it too. Just a little bit of sparkle. I think that'd be a nice little cowl. Yeah, I don't know. I only have 184 <laughs> yards of it, so yeah, we'll you see. you do like a small one. Yeah, a small one, like the type that I never ever wear Not that I'm ripping out. Not the tight one, like the one that goes like I don't know. here. We'll see. Yeah. Anyway. Or like a nice thin one, a little thin scarf. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Scarf. Maybe. Yeah. But anyway, so that is my spinning that I've been doing over the past two weeks. Finished objects. Perfect. And now I have nothing on the wheel. 
um, I have to figure out what my next spinning project on the wheel is going to be, but I still have my um, spindle project that I've been working on off and on, but I have, haven't touched it in the past two weeks because I've been on the spinning wheel. So, yeah. Yay! Spinning wheel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I have only worked a little bit on my socks because I was working diligently on that baby sweater. And working. Yes, and working. Yes. <laughs> and all that normal stuff. So, you know what I just realized? That your what? sweater was green, this sock is green, and your shirt is green. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I realized that. You're very, very color-coordinated today. <laughs> that's, that, that's why I'm going to have to, like, put everything over And here. I'm wearing red, so it's kind of like we're, you know, opposites or something. And you had know. a few red items? I did. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, my Manoa um, sock. I finished chart A, and I'm on chart B. Mm -hmm. And it's coming along pretty nicely, it I think. It's very nice. So thank you for letting me use the sock blocker You're this welcome. time. <laughs> and I'm still on my firefighter one. It's a little bit longer, but mm -hmm. I have not really worked on any of it. Ah. Yep. Just here and there. Well, knitting, that's it for your Yeah, stuff. that's all that I, I have. Like, I'm just going to start like just talking and be like, you know, whatever, if you have the extra stuff. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if you're still talking, too bad. Um, and and in co continue with our color coordination of our <laughs> outfits and our knitting and current projects, I guess. I have, well, all except for the heel, finished the first sock in my Knit Pick Sunset, which goes with my outfit today. It does. Uh, <laughs> So, I really like those colors. So I am, um, well, you're going to get some of it for your sock yarn blanket. Yes. Um, so I finished the first one. I just have to do the heel, but I always do my, I do both socks and then I do both heels. And um, this is going to be for one of my aunts. And I just did the No Pearl Monkeys, which I was remarking about how fast this pattern goes. I don't know why. It's like magic. It goes so fast because I started these last Sunday when we were at knitting at Panera. Yeah. I, I, like, literally cast on, started them, and I was probably up to here by the time we left. And then sat down and, you know, did the rest of it over the next, like, day and a half or whatever. And the other night, I started the second one, <laughs> and I'm up past the heel on the second one. Lucy has come in for a visit. And uh, <laughs> in case you heard all that jingling. But anyway, so I'm past the heel lines on the second one, so probably by our next episode, I should have a finished pair of socks and I'll be figuring out which, cause I'm going to do the same pattern for my other aunt for her socks. I just have to figure out which, um, of my knit picks, Felicia yarns she is going to get. Yes. So. I think she and that likes was my the, new lotion that I have. Probably. She does like lotion. She yes. usually likes unscented lotion. Um, <laughs> it's coconut oil that I mix with lavender. Oh, a few okay. drops of lavender. Awesome. Yeah. So anyway, but this was the Knit Picks Lacey in the Sunset colorway. I don't know if I said that earlier. And if I did, yes. you got it twice. <laughs> and you got the label. <laughs> yes. So that's all I'm working on right now that I brought in. So. Um, oh! Yes. Guess what, Kelly? What? I finished the Outlander book Voyager. Oh, okay. What? Which book number is that? Three, I believe. Okay. And how yes. many are there? A bunch. A bunch. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't, um, I, I had it as an audiobook, mm -hmm. and I had to drive to the other side of the state, so it was about three-hour drive. Yeah. Twice. Come on. Yeah. So, that was about 12 hours. Yeah. Worth of driving, which was about maybe 45 minutes, um, less than... <laughs> or, no, my book was 45 minutes less than the drive. Oh, okay. So I had to figure out what to do with the other 45 minutes because I didn't have an audio book. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you did not have the next one queued up. <laughs> no, because I didn't think I was going to finish it. It yeah. was only supposed to be a one-day trip and yeah, things happened. So. Yeah. But, like, that, that book was good. There was a few times where, you know, it was within, like, a minute or two, I'm like, oh, I wonder if this is going to happen. Oh my gosh, it did happen. Yeah. <laughs> so I liked yeah. it. Um, and then I told you uh, last night, surprise, surprisingly, mm -hmm. um, Josh and I watched a movie, mm -hmm. and it was a war movie. Okay. Um, it was not an 80s war movie. Oh. I have no idea what the name of it was, but it was about <laughs> EOD guys. It was some movie. Yes. <laughs> and no idea who was in it, I'm sure. No. <laughs> it, it wasn't like a lot of big names. Yeah, it was nobody. Nobody that, that I you, recognized. That you know of, because Sandy's not very good at with the um, actors knowing who's who and what's <laughs> no, what. I'm not. <laughs> nobody that I recognized from anything where I was like, 
I wonder if that person was in something <laughs> that I've seen. Uh huh. Um, and then um, during it, Josh was making jokes about one of his online games, um, how they had the EOD bot and they always called it Wally because they mm-hmm. used the EOD bot there. So we watched Wally afterwards, uh-huh. which you haven't seen. Right, I haven't seen. That's one of the ones I haven't seen. And I've se- I think I've seen bits and pieces of it, but I haven't like sat down and watched the whole thing. Yeah, it was a really cute movie. It really was. Um, but the funniest thing I think that happened was during it, they have like a little recording of a musical mm-hmm. that uh, Wally likes to play. And Josh was like, that's like the sound of music or Mary Poppins, isn't it? I'm like, no, it's neither of those. I don't know what this is because I don't watch a lot of musicals. Right. Like, you'd have to ask Kelly. Oh, do I have to watch the movie now? No, because I Googled oh, it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it was like three or four times he said this, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to Google it. I'm like, it's Hello Dolly. I've never oh. seen Hello Dolly. Okay. Yes. And he's like, are you sure it's not the sound of music or Mary Poppins? I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> Was yeah. it like the title song from the show? The Hello Dolly song? No. I don't know. Oh, okay. No. No, there don't was... Rain on My Parade or there something. There was two songs, and one of mm-hmm. them, like, they were dancing in the street. Okay. And Wally wanted the little hat thing to oh. do the dancing with. It's been a long time since I've seen Hello, Dolly. Yeah. And then the other one was like I actually, a love song type. Actually, when the summer, um, the summer before I moved to Florida, I was still living in Maryland, and I was doing, um, I had been cast in the show, Me and My Girl, um, it's like Kelly's reminiscent story time right now, so I make it, but it, it has a point that I'll come back to. Um, and I was cast as a dance, as a tap dancer in the show, Me and My Girl, with our local community theater, and I decided we had, um, a dinner theater in town, and I decided I wanted to try out for the dinner theater, and I tried out for Hello Dolly, but that was also the summer I broke my foot, and I didn't do, did not get to do either show. So, because, like, the, basically, I had been walking around on it for, like, a week, and didn't realize that it was really broken, because I thought, oh, it was just, like, a little sprain, it would swell up, and then at night, I would go to bed, and I'd wake up in the morning, and it would be perfectly fine, and then I'd go, like, walk on it all day, or go to dance auditions or rehearsals, and be in pain. And during my Hello Dolly audition, I was like, I think something is seriously wrong with my foot right now <laughs> during the dance part. And so um, we went to the doctor and had to like be in a cast the rest of the summer and missed out on both shows. But anyway, that's my Hello Dolly experience right there. So <laughs> that I have seen, like, I've seen, well, I've seen the movie version. So. Yeah, I think it was the movie version. Yeah. Because it was on a VHS. I think the, the movie version was uh, Barbara Streisand. I have no idea. But anyway. Um, <laughs> well, I finished this week, because my husband was off work, and so we took the time to finish, or actually watch, all of the current season of Game of Thrones. <laughs> and we watched and? it all. I mean, I already knew it was going to happen, because I had seen it all, in, you know, stuff all on the internet and You should just not so. look at that stuff. Well, I can't help it if it's in my Facebook feed, and, like, everyone's posting spoilers right and left. I just ignore so. Well, it's, it was hard to ignore when they and were And my like, people are a lot stuff. better, and they say spoilers. Yeah, well, my people don't, so... <laughs> you need to have a talk with them. <laughs> no one yeah. spoiled Star Wars for me, so that was what I cared about more anyway. Um, <laughs> Except for Josh, but that was like two weeks after you saw it. Right, and anyway. <laughs> and I'm like, that happened in like the first three, didn't it? And he's like, no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> So we also, this past week, um, because my husband was off work, we went to the movie theater and we saw the second Independence Day movie, which was, um, it was good, you know, I mean, (laughs) it wasn't like a bad movie. It just, I don't know. The first Independence Day movie was like, really, I really liked it a lot. I still like it to this day. There are still parts of that movie that like, I can't, I just like fast forward through or whatever, or don't watch. Like the part when the alien thing gets his neck, his around the data guy from Star Trek and he's all like, (laughs) I don't like that part, and so I usually don't watch that part. But, (laughs) you know, if we ever watch these movies, you cannot fast forward. Well, actually, it's usually they're on TV, and so you can't really fast forward. I just kind of, like, go to the bathroom during that time or whatever. And it's really only that scene that I don't like. Um, But there weren't any really, like, scenes like that in the new one that I was just like, you know. I mean, the special effects are really good. It's, like, worth it to see it in the movie theater on the big screen. But, you know, I mean, it was a sequel. And, of course, they, like, and this is, like, not telling you the ending, but, I mean, they've set it up for a third one. So, wouldn't be surprised if a third one comes out in the next couple of years, or maybe they'll wait another 20 years. <laughs> the next one. Oh, is it 20 years? Yes, or? it is 20 years since the first one. Yeah. 
Like, in real life and in the movie. Yeah, because, yeah. Yep. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes, because 1996 was 20 years ago. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> so. Wow. Maybe they'll wait another 20 years, but then they wouldn't be able to have, like, the same people in it, so. I Probably, think, I don't I think. think. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, anyway. My mind is just blown. I know. I had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm still continuing to watch. I've been doing a lot of watching this past week or whatever, but I, but, um, like, well, I've been watching Gilmore Girls, but I was able to get a lot of, through some of that, like, while I was on the spinning wheel. So, because <laughs> I'm halfway through season five. Netflix, um, reminded me that the new, well, not the new, but a more recent Criminal Minds season was on, so I started watching that. Oh. <laughs> it's like shows you might be interested in. Yeah. <laughs> shows you should continue watching because you started a while ago. Yeah. So that's yeah. very exciting for me. Yes. Um, the arena football was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. The Storm even, did not win. Saying, even though they didn't win. Yeah. But, I mean, it was, uh, it was good. Um, the guys in front of us, uh, they were Seminole fans. Mm -hmm. So we were heckling them and giving them a hard time. <laughs> so. Yeah. A, my yeah. husband was watching the game on TV and I was surprised by how many people were out in the audience actually wearing like Tampa Bay Storm shirts and stuff. And I was like, what? I know. I have never ever gone into a store and seen any Tampa Bay Storm merchandise. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they sell it there. Right. I mean, that's yeah. That's not all that that's I That's probably it. Online. Because like you can go into like Sports Authority, well not Sports Authority anymore, but you can go into like Dick's Sporting Goods you know, and find, like, Ray's stuff and Lightning stuff and Buck stuff. You never see anything for this storm. You can even see rowdy stuff sometimes. Yeah. But so, that's our soccer team. Yes. But, yeah. But not the storm. I was like, where did all these people... Because they, they would, like, pan the crowd and there would be all these people wearing shirts. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... Because John was looking in the crowds for you and he did not see you. Um, we were in the second section, like, the second level. Yeah. And... <laughs> over behind where the guys sit. Because he watched the whole game and anytime they would do the crowd, he's like at the screen trying to find you. We left about like four minutes early. Oh. So that way we can beat the yeah. Whole crowd. Yeah. So. And we had a nice little, you know, a few drinks and dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, we split a burger across the street at Ferg's because we'd never eaten at Ferg's every yeah. time we're down there. Yeah. So that was really nice. Um, and then, as you saw on my Facebook on Friday, we went to uh, Bush Gardens because <laughs> I had my work annual physical, and then I took the rest of the day off mm -hmm. as needed. So, yep. Um, we went. It was after five o'clock. We went out. Yeah, there. it was like in the evening when you checked yeah. in, and it, would, it was like it was, and I it was. She it had just in, rained, and I looked outside here, like where I live, and I was like. There's like some really dark clouds and really serious thunder happening outside right now. And the next thing I knew, it was pouring here, yeah. and I was like, hmm, "Wonder." So our I would plan, have been like, yeah. I don't know. I haven't been to Bush Gardens in years. I would have been like at the inside stuff, just like, oh, God, it was just many rain. Many times can Whatever. I watch the ice skating show? I don't even know if they have the ice skating show there. So I don't know. I don't know. So um, <laughs> when we got there, I don't do the rides, right? So. I like the animals and I like all the other stuff. Mm -hmm. So Josh uh, was like, okay, let's get you an ice cream. So I had an ice cream cone yeah. and I'm walking around. He's like, I'm going to go ride a ride. I'm like, I'm going to sit here. So we went in the line <laughs> for the new ride mm -hmm. and I was like wandering around and they have like... The Cobra's Curse. Yeah, the Cobra's Curse. Yes. They have the a roller like... coaster that spins like this while you're going around it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> they have this, And it like, depends on your weight. Yes, because it'll spin, like, faster right, or if more you're, off balance. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Depending on your the weight distribution of the people in your in your car. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm good. So they have this, like, panning for rocks. Yes. Right outside. And so I'm looking at all the rocks. I'm like, okay. And then they have the, like, quartz crystals. Mm -hmm. But it says crystal points. And then later on, it just says quartz. I'm like, but wait. That's quartz, <laughs> and that's quartz. That's just been broken down into little bits. Why do they have it as crystal points? 
And so it was, I sent it to a few of my geology friends, and we all got a good laugh. <laughs> and then when Josh got uh, kicked out because of the rain, mm-hmm. and, well, the lightning that was coming. Yeah. Um, I'm it like, was a pretty bad storm that We night. need to look at this before we go to our next point, because they closed down all the rides. Yeah. And it rained for, like, um, the first bit said 120 minutes, and then it, it was probably about, like, two hours. Well, I was gonna say, I mean, we've been having some really bad storms this past week. There were some people that died in Clearwater because of lightning strikes, just, like, within the past week. Oh, yeah. 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 It, the lightning wasn't too bad right yeah, there. Nothing was, like was really close. Yeah. It was, you know, a good distance away. Um, I did make him, when it, like, it was probably about, like, 10, 15 minutes of really heavy rain. Mm-hmm. I did stop in some of, like, the game areas at a different location. Yeah. And there was this one chair, and I got video, because it was supposed to, like, electrify you. Mm Mm-hmm. And so I got a dollar for my two coins. I'm like, okay, Josh, let's see how long you can hold on. (laughs) And so he's holding on, and then apparently he, like, started doing this, because it wasn't shocking him. It was just vibrating. (laughs) Yeah. And he told me that afterwards, and I recorded it, too. Yeah. And I'm like... I am so disappointed. I wanted to shock you. I really wanted you to be electrocuted. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sad. So. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a kid's game. It wouldn't yeah. electro, you know, I know. kill him. But I just, I didn't want it to Because even if you vibrate. go to, like, the science centers, you can, like, touch the stuff that, like, sends a little shock through you. Yes, but this was just apparently right. vibrating. Right. But I'm saying that, I mean, like, yeah, they do have that type of stuff that kids can do. So it's not like... <laughs> <laughs> so disappointed. Yes. And we were going to play the air hockey, but it was right in, like, the open spot between two tents, and oh. so it was, like, covered in water, and he's like, this will be so much fun. I'm like, no, because the puck won't glide, and then water's <laughs> going to be splurting up in my face. Yes. <laughs> because of all the air. Yeah. I'm like, no, no, let, let's just not, and then we saw that chair. Yeah. And then, um, the rain died down a little bit, and... I mean, it was a little bit heavier than a drizzle, and we just mm-hmm. ended up walking around the rest of the park. Yeah. Looked at most of the animals. Some of them were out. Mm-hmm. Only a few were put back away. I like the meerkats. The meerkats weren't, like, they were there, but they were, like, hiding. Oh. Underground. Wow. Well, we did go uh, <laughs> to the reptile area, and uh-huh. they had to, um, you know, escort us away because they have no lights there, apparently. Oh. Hmm. So they closed down that area. Yeah. But the Well, I remember when they first opened um, the Montu ride in the Egypt section, and when you yeah. would walk through and they redid, like, all the animals and whatever, and you would walk through, I don't remember what they called it, but whatever, and they had the meerkats, and they had just, like, opened Montu, and we would just stand there for, you could just stand there for, like, hours watching the meerkats, because every time the Montu roller coaster would go, they would just stand there and they all their little heads would follow it. <laughs> And it was the funniest thing. You know, and you'd have, like, the one that would stand up and be looking out, and then it would, like, go past them, and they would just, like, all of them all at the same time following it with their little eyes. That's and awesome. Heads. Yeah. Did you know they have kangaroos there? Um, I haven't been there in forever, so no. I knew they used to have koalas, because we used to go see, like, baby koalas all the time. But we haven't been there in probably 15 years, so. Yep. Well, once you get your passes, we'll go. Yeah, well, I have to um, I have to use our universal passes again. Yes, and then you they guys expire. can ride the rides with Josh, and yes, I'll hold the bags. Yes, <laughs> I was really smart mm-hmm. before we left. I got one of my dry bags from last year's snorkel trip. Yeah, and I put it in my purse so when it started raining, I could like wrap everything up oh, and my yeah. phone wouldn't die. Yeah, I know. Yep. So, oh, yeah, we're we're planning a universal trip in the next couple months, so. We looked into some of the hotels and starting to figure things out, but, um, because we have passes that expire, I think in, well, I mean, Universal passes, they don't really expire, they just keep charging you every month, mm-hmm. and, um, so, I don't know if we're gonna keep them after, like, I think that they're up in February, so I don't know. We'll see. It depends, because, like, even if we just go once a year for a weekend, they pay for themselves. Yeah. So, I don't know. I was actually talking at the gym about Universal Studios the other day, um, because I went to, I went to the gym and I was the only person in the class, and (laughs) the trainer was talking about stuff, so as I'm, like, working out, he's like, have you been to Universal Studios? And I'm like, yeah, blah, 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 so I'm like, so then, (laughs) with the weights and stuff, (laughs) and we were talking about the hotels and everything, and the prices on some of them, and 
the one we wanted to go to apparently is a lot more expensive than we thought, so we're going to stay at a different one. Yeah. Um, but anyway, um, what else was I going to say? Oh, so in the next, in two weeks, we have Tampa Bay Comic Con coming up. Actually, this weekend, or this past week, or whatever, since Thursday, I think, has been the um, big, huge Comic-Con in San Diego, California, because I mm-hmm. keep seeing that all over my Facebook and Snapchat and all that stuff. And um, so that's all exciting, because our Comic-Con is coming up. There's a there's one that's this weekend. I think it's um, MetroCon, but that's like anime stuff at the convention center this weekend. Oh, here? Yeah, yeah in Tampa. And then um, in two weeks, we have Tampa Bay Comic-Con, and we are, you know, going to have Charlie Cox from Daredevil there. So, when we record next time, it should be the day after Comic-Con, because I bought my tickets for Saturday, so. (laughs) And I will be a lobster. Yes, and we will see, like, how much I can recall from the day, and how much is, like, you know, if I actually could say anything, and (laughs) whatever. You need to videotape your interaction. We'll see. (laughs) Have John videotape. Yeah, okay. (laughs) You'll get a video that's like... So, um, yeah, so that's coming up, um, and I think that's about it. I mean, I go back to work, I have another week off, and then I go, you know, teachers and staff report back to school, so. Oh, so one thing that I'm doing yes, um, that's not knitting or spinning related is I am typing up all of my recipes, and I'm going to put them in a binder. Oh, nice! And uh, I got a template for it, mm-hmm. and I was talking to my sister, and she's like, you know, that would be a great idea, because you know, all my nieces and nephews, they're getting older, mm-hmm. and she's like, that would be a great wedding present. I'm like, what? <laughs> Who's getting married? <laughs> they're not old <laughs> enough to get married. They're just babies. Yes. So, um, I'm getting recipes from her and my brother, and then we're just going to combine them all, and then I can nice. share them to them. So, do you well, have any recipes? I was going to say, I can give you some, like, that chocolate cake recipe. Yes. Um, the, <laughs> give me a bunch, and I'll type them up for you. Yeah. Print them out. Um, we, well, the last time, was it the last time I was at my parents' house, um, I, I don't want that dip recipe. <laughs> I don't even have that <laughs> recipe. The last time I was there, I went through her recipe box, and I, like, scanned in a bunch of recipes that I wanted, um, that I didn't have. So... I have a bunch of those scanned in, and then I have the, um, you know, the chocolate cake recipe, and you should um, get and I made a recipe recipe that you were always. I don't think I don't think something. Do it, did is that when I scanned? I don't remember. I'll have to see. Um, that that like my mom's the only one. It's it's her high school whole met class. They made these rolls, and um, she's been making them for years and years and years, and no one in my family has been able to duplicate them. So anyway. Um, then, um, oh, the other day I made a new recipe, the other night. Oh, yeah? Um, from BuzzFeed, <laughs> which is my go-to recipe place lately, because um, they're on Facebook. They're like, this, you know, and they have the little video, and I'm like, that looks really good. So I made their um, barbecue chicken bake, uh-huh. which had barbecue chicken pasta bake. And so it had, mm-hmm. like, um, fusilli pasta in it, and, you know, chicken and barbecue sauce and <laughs> ranch dressing and, like, corn and tomatoes. And she melted cheese on top, so you would have to probably not melt the cheese on top if you ever made it for Josh. No. You put it on half. I'm, I'm just making him... He could take it. Well, I was going to say, it's, like, just on the top, anyway, but, um... He's been getting better. Like, okay. over at Ferg's, we had a, um, burger, and mm-hmm. it was a Swiss and mushroom, and he ate oh. half of it. Okay. I know. Well, this thing made, like, a 9 by 13 pan, and it said it made, like, eight servings, and I think that we have had... We've probably had eight servings out of it. We've still got three left. So (laughs) it made a lot. In fact, well, John was out last night, and then he's going out to his little wrestling thing tonight. And so that meant last night and tonight I was eating some of it. And I told him, I was like, today you have to eat some of this for lunch because I cannot eat all of this chicken pasta stuff. I don't even really eat pasta. You're like, I'm I'm done. I'm tapping out. I'm I'm over this recipe right now. Oh, but we tried the chicken salad place, too, since this is now the food portion of our (laughs) podcast. But anyway, we tried this, uh, and they have them not just in Florida, but they started, I think, in Alabama, and they have them in parts of the South. So um, it's chicken salad chick, and they have, like, 12 different types of chicken salad. Oh, we've had them for work before. Yeah, so good. 
Well, we've been meaning to get over there. You don't really like chicken salad, though. Yeah, so I've so, never eaten them. I just remember but they seeing have, the sandwiches. But they have, like, okay, so they have 12 different chicken salads, and then they also have, um, also on their menu, they have, like, three or four sandwiches, like roast beef and turkey and that type yeah. of stuff. For And it says, like, in their menu, like, for people, if, you're, if you've been dragged here by people who love chicken salad and you don't, these are the things you can eat. But it was really good. Um, so, yeah. They didn't order any of the non-chicken salad, non salad stuff. Any of the non-chicken salad stuff. You were like, out of yeah. luck. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. good. I had a chicken salad that had ranch and cheddar cheese and bacon in it. And it was very tasty. So, yep. That's what we did on our on, on John's week off. We, we watched Game of Thrones, we went to the movies, and we went out to restaurants. <laughs> and I made massive amounts of barbecue chicken bake <laughs> with pasta. <laughs> I reorganized part of my kitchen. Oh, yes. Oh, well, we okay. also, we reorganized the game closet. Oh, yeah? We reorganized the game closet, and we reorganized the laundry area, and we took some stuff to storage, and I donated a bunch of clothes. Awesome. So, <laughs> we were slightly productive. It wasn't, we just, like, laid around on the couch watching TV all week. So. <laughs> but, anyway. I think that's it. I think that's it for us for this week. So, you can find us on all sorts of social media. You can find us on Instagram as... Knits and Bits. Ah. And Pearly Girl 75 Also, we ha are on YouTube under Two Crafty Stitches. And um, our blog is twocraftystitches.wordpress.com. And, of course, the crafty is with a K. Um, I always say that, of course. Like, <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course it is. Everybody um, knows that. But anyway, that's where you can find our show notes, which I actually updated show notes, too. Um, and maybe I'll get them done on time for this one and, and so um oh and we have a twitter that is two crafty stitches where you can we don't post a lot in that but we do post like days that we've recorded like hey we recorded and then like hey here's the episode so you can keep up with us that way and i think that that is it yep mm -hmm. so happy crafting bye <laughs>